Hey folks, and welcome to Minerals, Rocks, and Fossil Talks with your favorite paleontologist, Jennifer. Me. Okay. Enough. Enough of that. So, it is Throwback Thursday, which means we're going to talk a little bit about historical figures in paleontology. Today, we are talking about this dude, William Buckland. William Buckland was born in Devon in 1784. He is a geologist. He is. He's gone. He was a geologist and a paleontologist. He came up with a few cool things, so let's go through them. The first thing to his name is that he came up with a theory of catastrophism that combated a new idea called uniformitarianism. Hint, that's the one we use today in geology. We'll talk about it in a wordplay Wednesday. So catastrophism is basically the idea that Earth was created through sudden, short-lived, violent events. So those short-lived events include things like floods, like massive floods, 100-year floods, and things like earthquakes that move a lot of stuff in a very short amount of time. So clearly we don't believe that now, but they were working on it then. He also investigated fossil bones in Kirkdale Cave outside of Yorkshire um, and concluded that the remains were not there because of the Great Flood like they had assumed. They assumed all of these bones had just washed up in there from a flood. He actually did a careful analysis to show that it was actually probably more likely to be the home of a pack of hyenas and this is just where they left all of the, the kills. They brought their food home, they ate it, and the bones got piled up in a corner. Um, this analysis actually became a model for how to carefully analyze things so we can use them to reconstruct the Earth's past. So, good job, Mr. Buckland. And of course, his, probably his biggest claim to fame was that he described the very first dinosaur, Megalosaurus. And it wasn't the first one described, mind you. It was just the first one that had been described and then named as such. So that was pretty cool. He somehow managed to acquire bones from the Stonesfield Quarry in Oxfordshire. Um, he didn't know what to make of it, but he had a visitor come by and give him their two cents worth. So this here is Georges Cuvier, and he was a comparative anatomist, and he just happened to be in the area, came by for a visit, took a look at it, and said, I think you've got a giant reptile. Reptile's a very loose term, so, I mean, he's not entirely wrong, but it was obviously not entirely correct either. Um, and it took several years for Mr. Buckland, with a lot of uh, pushing from Mr. Cuvier here because he really wanted to, this information to get out. But they finally were able to publish a full description and the name Megalosaurus in the Transactions of the Geological Society of London, which was probably one of the first um, geological academic journals to be used, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, so he got it published in this, and we're going to take a look at the bones that he saw. All right, so here is a proper skeleton for Megalosaurus, unlike our fun little lizard-shaped thing we had earlier. Uh, the bones he described were a right lower jaw with one erupted tooth, meaning it was in the tooth row rather than in the jaw itself. A posterior dorsal vertebrae, so one closer to the back end of the dorsal column. Uh, an anterior caudal, so 
one closer to the front of the tail. So both of these would have been close to the hips. Uh, a sacrum with five vertebrae. So dinosaurs had anywhere between three and five vertebrae in their sacrum, which means they probably had all of his sacral vertebrae, which is cool. There's a cervical rib, which is the rib that comes off of the neck vertebrae. A rib rib, so one, you know, from the torso where you expect a rib to be. A piece of the pubis, so that is our front facing hip bone. An ilium, so that is the top hip bone. Part of the ischium, which is the back facing hip bone. A femur, or thigh bone, and the lower part of the second metatarsal. So basically part of the middle of the foot. And that's Throwback Thursday. We'll fossilize you later.